we have here is an ET4760 here it is the issue with this one is actually no issue but uh, periodically you have to replace the maintenance box the maintenance box is located in the back of the printer on the left side as you can see it uh, here I have a new replacement uh, maintenance box here it is so for uh, 47 uh, thousand series you're gonna use uh, this one T04D1 this is the maintenance box uh, suggested or from um, Epson so as I told you it's in the back in the rear of the printer you will have here a screw is this screw here it's not too uh, long screws like that this is only a cover and uh, taking the cover off uh, it shows the maintenance box in order to replace it it's uh, kind of easy check this out so you have to pull it from here and all the gunk and all the the ink is uh, is uh, here inside this one is uh, practically unusable or actually it's usable is 95% or something like that you have the maintenance box uh, cartridge checkup in uh, in the menu I'm gonna show you in a few seconds I'm gonna finish it so yeah looks like this and it will be replaced and uh, here is the short comparison between the new and the old the uh, old one and the new one this is the the old one uh, it feels also heavier than the new one the new one is very light and as you can see the pads on top they are uh, white they are clean so yep this is the difference they look like that yeah in order to install it the operation is pretty simple you just have to align it over here and just push it and right now it's practically installed you can uh, use the printer at this point uh, but as there is uh, no thing here to to keep it in place we have this cover I'm gonna install this cover and uh, then we're gonna do a, a test okay the printer is on right now it will do a uh, cycle to check the, the the maintenance box there are some sounds you will hear some sounds everything is normal the printer is trying to figure out what's going on and what uh, has been replaced and I'm gonna show you right now from the, the menu as soon as uh, everything uh, stops I'm gonna show you in the menu where you can check the maintenance box uh, cartridge if it's time to replace it or not okay so at this point everything stopped and uh, let's go through the menu and uh, check out for the maintenance so we have here the maintenance section touch it and on the bottom somewhere we have the ink lever sensor here remaining capacity of maintenance box and as you can see here everything is uh, it's empty because uh, it uh, has been already replaced just replaced so yes this is this if you have the ET4760 or any 47 zero zero five zero twenty two zero doesn't matter 47 thousand series will use uh, this uh, maintenance box many people are asking me if this printer are uh, good and if they are uh, reliable for printing a lot so uh, let me show you this one has uh, about one year and uh, check this out 93 thousand prints color and uh, black and white so you tell me if these are good printers it's directly from the printer in order to to check and to see if you're buying probably a used one you can check uh, this one like this let me show you go to settings printer counter and uh, here it is and you can print also um, a, uh, all these numbers on a piece of paper so here it is 
this is how you replace the maintenance box on a ET 4760 Epson Ecotank printer. Thank you very much for watching.